Hey guys, Mark Lyon here, Lion Horses. Today I got a little, little topic for our Philosophy Friday. And a lot of times when we're when we're working with horses, this is gonna be kind of a fun, fun deal. Me and some friends have been talking about it. And so I kind of wanted to sit down and, and chat with you a little bit about it. So we have some principles and some techniques and some, yeah, we have lots of things that as trainers, we say, well, you should do this or you should do that or try this or try that. And so we have uh, a plan, right? We say, hey, we're gonna get, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get him to, we're gonna get him to do this and do that. And, and, and we do all these things to build our horse to where we want him to be. And so those are all really good. And, and I think as humans, we like, we like, uh, specifics. We like, Hey, do it, do this, teach your horse that. And so we're, we kind of like the step-by-step, -step, um, recipe or procedure. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of, I mean, that's how we get, we have procedures and, and recipes and, and procedures that be probably the, the, the most applicable, um, description, description for this. But we, we take a bunch of people that may not be as as talented or as talented is not the right word as skilled or as experienced as they may need to be and so we use this set of parameters or this this procedure to help them get through this problem and we just say just just do this just do this just do this, just do this. and so it's good the problem with that is it's sometimes too specific and so uh the kind of the overall view uh, of this of this deal is have a plan, but be flexible. And I can, uh, for those of, I guess, this will be good. If you have kids or were once a kid, I hope that covers the majority of people watching. If you were once a kid or if you have kids, when your parents were raising you or when you're raising your kids, you have a plan, but be flexible because kids will um, find a way to evade or, or get around something that you've, a rule or something that you've set up. And so we need to be flexible and we need to be creative in how we, we do something. And so when the kid needs to be motivated, um, we need to be creative in the how we motivate him or how we influence him to do something. And so same thing with our horses. We have we have a plan, we have a schedule, we kind of have a, an idea, we have a procedure on how we're gonna get to there. And if you don't have a procedure, it's very difficult to get to the end, right? If you don't have any idea on how you're gonna get there, you have to have a plan or a procedure, uh, you know, kind of how you're, what you're gonna do first, what you're gonna do second, how that's gonna affect what you do third. So having a procedure is is very important. I think it's critical. It's crucial to have a procedure or a, a plan. But if you can't deviate from that plan, if you can't adjust the plan to fit the situation, then it's only going to work on a certain number of horses. You're only going to be successful with a certain number. Um, it's it's kind of like we, we have some ways uh, uh, general guidelines or principles uh, how to treat people. But if you treat everybody exactly the same, it's not going to work as well as if you're flexible with how you interact with this person versus how you interact with the other person. So have a plan, but be flexible. And so that's the balance that we're all looking for. We're all, all of us um, are probably deficient in one aspect or the other. We're either too rigid and we're too by the book or two by the plan. We have a, a, a schedule or a, uh, whatever we, we want to have our, our procedure. We have our procedure that we're going to do and we're too rigid in that procedure where we don't, aren't flexible enough. And then some of us are also too flexible where you don't, we're like, ah, oh, we could do this or we could do that or we could do this. And you know, we're, we're not, um, organized enough. We don't have a set 
kind of plan or system in place on how we're going to get to the end. And so I think the, the best trainers and the best people that I know, they have both. They are, they both have a plan and a procedure and, and an idea on how they're going to get, what they're going to get done and how they're going to get it done. And they're also flexible. If it, this part isn't working very well, they move over here and they, they, they get this better instead of it and get that better instead. And so that's what I was, that's what I would say to you guys. I say there's, there's lots of theory and, and stuff that me and some other trainers, we talk about when I'm, when we're talking about different stuff and, and I say the balance between the two, all of us are, are trying to get that balance where we, um, I tend to be more, um, I think I've actually gotten better at the balance, but, uh, before I was, didn't have a procedure. It wasn't like, I'm going to do this and this and this and this and this and this, but it was like, Hey, well, I need to get that done and you need to get this done. You need to get that done, but you know, whatever order works best for you. And now I have a little bit more of a structure to my, to my training, but I'm also careful not to be too rigid. And then other people, they have way, a lot of structure and they probably should be a little bit more flexible. So um, just kind of take a look at your plan, your program. And remember, we're all trying to be the person our horse deserves. And um, that's that's going to be trying to find that balance in between those two. So anyway, hope this tip helps. Get you later.